There are worse things I could do Than go with a boy or two Even though the neighborhood thinks I'm trashy and no good I suppose it could be true But there are worse things I could do Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is for November. I'm sporting my visual look today. So anyhow, what do we have for Taurus? November, any time in November. Stork, news of birth or a new business opportunity. So you have a new opportunity that is coming in. On the bottom of the deck, we have fan, romance, celebration, party. What else do we have for Taurus? November, now keep in mind, this is for November. Autumn. Autumn fell out. I believe it's autumn now. Something, it's harvest time. It looks like it's harvest time. They have serious regrets for hurting you. Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you, Taurus. We are going to get one of these. What do we have for Taurus? November, at any time in November. New opportunity, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Page of Gabrielle, energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. So this is the Page of Wands. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. So, Page of Wands, this could be a new suitor that is bursting into your world. If you are already suited up, you are about to embark on an exciting new path, okay? Um, you are ready for any challenge. So, this is ready. You're ready. You are ready. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. Two of Michael, two of cups on the bottom. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem. Find a compromise. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem. Find a compromise. This is the Two of Swords, not the Two of Cups. Two of Swords. I never used this deck. So, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem. Find a compromise. So that is the two of swords. So let's, what do we got? You got to make some sort of decision. We have an exciting opportunity here. Somebody could be bursting into your world that is very well suited for you with the page of wands, this page of Gabrielle. Um, new business opportunity or a birth this fall. I think it's this fall. What do we have for Taurus? A Six of Pentacles reversed. So a Six of Pentacles reversed is not getting what you deserve or uh, unemployment or an abuse of power or something with strings attached. You know, um, we could have an injustice here, abuse of generosity something being taken away. Mm, the tower, the tower. So the tower is a major disruption, a shock. So the tower is the challenge. So there's gonna be a disruption. Something could get taken away. There could be, I mean, the six of pentacles reverse. It's not getting what you want or somebody that we may even have a thief here. Somebody that's after your money. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed, um, not getting what you deserve, an abuse of generosity, greed, an injustice, an event. There's going to be an event. It may cost you money. There could be a loss of money. Uh, 
Ooh, lovers, lovers. So there is a partnership here, a union. I think that you do need to be careful. There is somebody here that has serious regrets for hurting you. Maybe they didn't give. They didn't give and now they're experiencing some sort of internal disruption. Somebody's experiencing internal disruption for not receiving, you know, maybe, you know, it takes two. There's a lack of reciprocation here. There's a one-sidedness, whether it's you or them. Somebody is not giving. They're not giving, so they're not getting, you know. There's a one-sidedness here. And that, that one-sidedness is causing disruption, causing um, something. Anyhow, we have a lover's, an unexpected choice in love. And we did have that two of swords. So there is a choice that needs to be made. There's some sort of indecision. You may not be giving to something right now. Um, maybe you have to make some sort of choice. Um, lovers, there's a union here. There could be. There could be a perfect match. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're going to be uniting with somebody, but you're, uh, I don't know what's happening here. Let's get the rest of the cards. Temperance behind you in the past, so tempering yourself. Uh, maybe you've accepted that something is over. Maybe you've gone through a period of healing because temperance is profound healing, managing your feelings. Um, it, it's accepting. So I think that you've been through a period of healing. Um, You've found some sort of balance within yourself. You've, this is evolution. Maybe you've realized that everything happens for a reason. It happens for a purpose. I mean, temperance is behind you. So it's in the past. So I feel like you've really been working on managing yourself. Maybe you've learned some sort of lesson, you know, um, and you're accepting and going with the flow. You're just... It feels like you, something has happened, something has ended because death comes before that, that has caused your evolution. Now you're in a place of, maybe you're in a place of peace, okay? You're at peace. The devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn, we have Sagittarius, we have Gemini, we have Aries and Scorpio. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius up there with the Page of Wands. Capricorn, a devil, devil right above you right now. Tempted, tempted. You're, you, maybe you're tempted. Maybe you're, you're tempted, you know, to do something. Hierophant reversed. in your future. A lot of majors here. Universe is driving. Universe is in control. The universe is driving a major change with that temp with that uh, tower card. I mean, we have a lot of majors here. Mostly all majors, all but one. So this is this is universally driven. We got somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. Um having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. Um, poor counsel. Oh, we have the devil and the pair of font reverse. This is like hell. Queen of Swords. Four of Swords reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Your advice is the Queen of Swords. Be honest. Be upfront. Be authentic. Tell the truth. Say what you need to say. Protect yourself. Knight of Cups reversed as the outcome. And on the bottom of the deck, this is what you don't see, is the Empress. So this is, this is a birth, okay? This is a birth. This is about your value. It's about your worth. This is a blessing. So I don't know what is going on. The Empress is you, right? But it's time. It's time. You see, it's about, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for a delivery. It is time. It's time to give birth. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. You're going to be getting an offer from somebody. 
somebody has regrets for hurting you, it's going to come this fall, probably in November. Um, this is part of your evolution. You've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of inner work. You've found some sort of self-discipline to change. That is the temperance card, which is in the past. But that devil, that devil right above you, which is your present, that is, uh, I don't know if you're doing something inappropriate behavior. You think about that song that I sang. It's, I don't know why I sang that. There's some, you know, I don't know what is going on here, but the devil is lust. The devil is lust. It is greed. It is materialism. It is obsession. It is codependency. It's, it's probably, I don't know if there's some sort of inappropriate behavior here. Okay. Um, in your future, the Hierophant reverse, no commitment, uh, relationship, not on the same page. I feel like you're going to be shocked by a partner by a, because you're going to get an offer because I got the, I got somebody that has not been giving, okay, with the Six of Pentacles reversed. They have not been giving, but then we have the lovers, which is an unexpected, uh, I don't know, maybe it's an unexpected connection or a reconnection or something like that. Um, there's some sort of union here. It looks as though you're going to be shocked. You may not be, you may be, maybe you don't want to give to it. Maybe you don't want to give to it. Maybe this is a, a shock to you. Maybe you weren't looking for it, you know, um, Everything happens for a reason, okay? Everything happens for a reason. I'm trying to get my cat to lay down. Um, it's time. It's time for you to receive. It's time. It's time for you to. It's time for you to receive a blessing, okay? It is. That's what the Empress is. She gives birth to a blessing. This is a domestic goddess who does everything with love. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Get prepared for to receive some sort of blessing. And I think that you're going to be absolutely shocked because you haven't received. That's what it is. You haven't received. You haven't received this union. You haven't received this partnership. I don't know. Maybe it's with a Capricorn. It could be. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's some sort of attraction or desires or temptation or something like that. Um, but the queen of swords down in your advice, that's my, that's your advice. I believe is, uh, be honest and look at things from a new perspective. Be open-minded. I feel like you need to be open-minded. Okay. The, the, uh, you might have to think fast. You might have to think fast, communicate your needs, communicate your desires, communicate what you're, what you're looking for. Your outside influence is the four of swords reversed, exhausted, fed up, uh, death of a situation. Waiting period is over. Your waiting period, the waiting period is over. Queen of Pentacles, reverse, unstable, insecure. You, you may have insecurities. You probably have, that's in your hopes and fears. You're insecure. Your insecurities, you have some insecurities here. Um, maybe you, maybe you're, uh, not looking for a relationship. Above that is the Knight of Cups reversed, or you're not focusing on a relationship. Maybe you're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your job. You're focusing on your business. You're taking a break. I feel like it's, you don't get to choose when it's time, okay? Universe chooses when it's time, okay? That's the way it goes. So something is happening, and it does have, we do have the lovers here. Um, not committed no commitment no commitment there's something about no commitment with that hero font reversed or a relationship not on the same page okay having a hard time doing the right thing uh not listening not listening to your gut or not very spiritual there's some sort of uh i don't know what is this what is this hero font reversed strength reversed oh my god there's fear fear of commitment is that what that is? Is that what that is? That fear of commitment, fear of, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with, you could be dealing with somebody that is afraid of commitment. Maybe you're afraid of commitment. There's fear of commitment here. It could be you or the person that you're asking about. Somebody has fear of commitment. There's a lack of courage. There's um, poor counsel. Somebody may have received some poor counsel or they're not listening or, uh, well, there's fear. It's fear of commitment. There's definitely fear of commitment here. Somebody's afraid of commitment, either you or them. No courage, weak. There's some sort of uh, insecurities that are holding you back. You're going to be put in a position where 
It's from a partner or you're putting them in a position. Could go either way. Somebody is being put in a position where they have to make a decision. The lovers is a decision and the uh, two of swords is a decision. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. So there's a decision. It's a, there's a decision that you need to make and you need to ground yourself. You know, you need to be fluid, but you also need to be grounded. You need to manage your feelings. This has to do with a relationship. Absolutely. Knight of Cups reverse is the overall outcome. Um, you may be letting something go. You may be letting go of a relationship. We have the tower, we have the six of wands, I mean six of pentacles reverse and the lovers. You may be letting go of a partnership because somebody doesn't want commitment. They don't want commitment, you know, they're too weak, they're too scared, they're too fearful. Either it's you or them, somebody here is too fearful. And then we have a woman here with the queen of pentacles reverse that may not know her value. She may not know her worth, you know. Um, you need to know your value. You need to know your worth. If you're dealing with somebody that has you on the back burner, like the Four of Swords is, that is mate, you've been waiting for, you've been waiting for this person, then maybe you need to uh, follow your passion. You know, you're ready. You're ready for a new adventure, okay? There's an opportunity for excitement and adventure. You have to make a choice. Do you, wanna, do you want a relationship or not? You have to be honest with yourself. Um, you are going to have to be open-minded. Um, be real, be real, you know, what is this Knight of Cups reverse in the future? This is not looking for a relationship. This is being dropped, dropping somebody, you know, the Knight of Cups reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that is very seductive. You know, this person is a, um, I don't know, it's like a Casanova, right? Maybe even a ladies man, uh, or I don't know what you'd call that for a woman. This is somebody that, you know, speaks love, love bomber. It's like a love bomber. Um, doesn't follow through. Eight of wands reversed. Maybe you need to block somebody. You need to stop communicating. There is somebody here that is really in their feelings for not communicating. They're, they're feeling very emotional. Their emotions are all over the place. Um, they have serious regrets for hurting you. There's, there's been some sort of blocked feelings, blocked communication, blocked emotions. Somebody's blocking their feelings. They're blocking their emotions. They're not communicating their feelings. Um, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is an opportunity for happiness here. This is happily ever after for a happy relationship, a happy home, abundance. So there's an opportunity for happiness. Maybe you need to open up your heart. <laughs> Maybe you're blocking your heart. Or you're blocking your feelings. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But there's too many insecurities. So, you know, I don't know if somebody's being cut. You know, the Queen of Swords, she cuts, she cuts. So there's something that is that could be being cut, okay? Maybe you're cutting somebody out. Um, you're sick of waiting. The Four of Swords reverse, you're sick of it. You're sick of waiting. You're sick of waiting. Um, there's no stability. There's no security. They're not giving you any type of commitment. Somebody's not giving you any type of commitment. Maybe you're cutting because you want, you want, a, you want a commitment. You want to have it all. Um, somebody feels guilty. Eight of Wands reverse is guilty. Guilty for hiding their feelings, not expressing their feelings. There is some sort of, I mean, the devil, that is lust, okay? There's lust, there's temptation. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted. You are. What is this devil card? <laughs> there are worse things I could do than go with a boy or two. You have to make a choice. Two is our choice between two. Even though the neighborhood thinks I'm trashy and no good, 
I suppose it could be true, but there are worse things I could do. I could flirt with all the guys, smile at them and bat my eyes. Queen of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. So this is low confidence, no confidence, fearful, lack of self-esteem. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I was um, clarifying that devil. Forceful, controlling, manipulative. We have somebody here that is very manipulative. They are controlling. They want control. They want control. Somebody wants control. The devil and the queen of wands reverse. Somebody wants control. Hangman. Hangman. Sacrifice. Um, struggling. Struggling. We have somebody here that is struggling to let go of something. They're struggling. They're struggling to let go. Let go of their fear or to let go of a belief. They are, there's some sort of uh, wanting to prove, wanting to prove power. We have somebody here that is abusing their power. They want to be in control. They want to be in control. They want to be in control. They want the power. They, and they're willing to uh, hang on to this belief to prove that they are in control. So you are going to have to make a decision whether you want to continue to whether you want to continue to be part of this or not. I feel like it's time for a change. It's time for a delivery. It's it's time, okay? Definitely with the stork and the empress. It's time. It's time. You may need to budge. You may, you may need a new perspective. Maybe it's time for you to let go of your fear. Maybe it's time for you to uh, let go of your fear. Let go of your insecurities. What is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? This looks to be like, I think it's the King of Swords reversed. Closed off. Closed off. Um, cold. Cold. Closed off. Um, protecting. Protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself. Ace of Wands reverse, no desire, no drive, no, no, no vision. You, you're protecting yourself. No passion. Seven of Cups reverse, seeing clearly what the best choice is. Perhaps you didn't see something. You, there was a lack of vision. There was a lack of desire you know, uh, to open yourself up. Yeah, I feel like you have yourself blocked because of your own insecurities, your own fears. But the Seven of Cups reversed is making a choice, making a choice. The Empress has multiple options, by the way. Okay. So anyhow, um, and this is multiple options, making a choice. So I feel like you have to make some sort of choice. This is about commitment. It's about a relationship. Oh, now we got now we got the justice on the bottom. This is a decision. This is seeing clearly what the best choice is, but you are going to receive some sort of vision. I think that you've been closed off. I think that you have been uh, choosing not to see. You've been choosing not to. You see the blindfold there? Okay, you've been choosing not to see. You've been restricting yourself. You've been uh, using poor logic, protecting yourself, protecting your protecting your own insecurities. There's also, uh, I don't know, somebody here is free, fear of commitment. Um, you, I feel like you, uh, 
I need to, the seven of cups reverse is next to the ten of cups. So you need to make a choice about a relationship in November. You're going to be put in a position where you need to make a choice. This is a shock. It is a surprise. I feel like somebody is bursting or they have already burst into your world. Probably they have. And maybe you were hanging on to somebody else because of the hangman. You were hanging on to somebody that you were obsessed with. Where they were obsessed with you. This person is not putting in any effort. They're not putting in any action. They're not really doing anything. They didn't really want commitment. Now, now I feel like there's somebody's going to step up to the plate, you know, and you have to choose. You have to choose between the two. You're going to have to be honest with yourself. You're going to have to, you know, your advice is the queen of swords. You're going to have to think fast. You're going to have to be honest. You're going to have to speak, speak the truth. You know, put, say it, say what you need, say what you're looking for. That's how you make your choice. Okay. And listen, listen to what they have to say. You're going to be, you're going to be making a decision. <laughs> you are about a relationship. I mean, that is what that is. Okay. That is a decision about a relationship. Seeing very clearly what the best choice is coming out of confusion. Um, <clears throat> now either you're making the choice or they are, this could be the person that you're asking about that is making a choice. judgment. So this is a judgment call. This is the end of things. This is a life-changing decision. This could also be a reconciliation of some sort. Truths being revealed, being held accountable. This is maybe even a card, I mean, maybe even forgiveness. This is a card of acceptance. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of, um, it's the end of a trial. It's the final decision. So you're going to be making a big, huge decision. This is about a new life. Okay, um, ready to be judged, ready to be judged. Be ready, be ready to make a judgment call. Shock, a shock. I put it right next to the tower. This is a shock. You're gonna, this is a shock about the partnership. The lovers is upright, it's right there. Unexpected, an unexpected um, renewal or an unexpected birth, you know, unexpected delivery, an unexpected. Uh, opportunity it's time i see time it's time it's time for you to receive what you haven't received this is a blessing you're gonna have to let go of your insecurities okay you have to get a new vision you have to you have to think positive i see negative thinking here be optimistic be open-minded that's the queen of swords be open-minded okay open your mind a little bit be be truthful, okay? You know, be honest with yourself. Somebody could be coming back around and they could be apologizing. There could be an apology here with judgment in the Eight of Cups reverse. Judgment, it could be definitely be an apology. It's forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is needed. Maybe it's time for you to forgive your past and open up your heart. The King of Swords reverse can be open up your heart. Open up your heart. Let go of your insecurities. You have an opportunity here for a union. Okay, you know, you do. You definitely do. You know, maybe you need to let go of your fears. Maybe you need to let go of somebody you've been hanging on to that doesn't want commitment. Or didn't reciprocate in the past. Be brave. Oh my goodness gracious. Take a look at that. You're going to have to be brave. Energetic, brave, optimistic, be optimistic, follow your passion, and you haven't been. You are ready for any challenge, and judgment is ready. It is ready. You're ready for this new life. Stagnation over, four of swords reverse. Stagnation over, opportunity for excite excitement and adventure. <laughs> Good luck. 